My name is Sharon Love, and my daughter Yardley was a student at the University of Virginia, a senior with weeks to go before she graduated, and she was murdered by another lacrosse player on the men's team in May 2010. I really didn't realize how widespread relationship violence was. Now, after delving into it, I realized one out of three girls will experience some type of relationship violence during their lifetime. Since Yardley's tragic death nearly four years ago, her mom has been on a mission to save others from domestic violence. Today is the day she wants everyone to stop and talk about dating violence. It's Time to Talk Day is an annual awareness day to get the conversation started about healthy relationships and to prevent teen dating violence and abuse. And their website, it's time to talk.org, is filled with helpful guides and tips on getting the conversation started with your family, which is key, so important here. Yardley Love's mother, Sharon, is here with us. Sharon, great to talk to you. Thank you. So you had no idea that Yardley was in a bad relationship. I'm sure like so many other families out there, they think, no, this can't happen in my family. It happens to other people. You actually thought the relationship was over between your daughter? Actually, the relationship was over mm -hmm. between um, my daughter and her ex-boyfriend. We had no idea. She was away at college, so I wasn't privy to um, mm -hmm as much as I would be if she was living at home. Mm -hmm. uh, but there were no signs, no recognizable signs at all that, that I knew of at the time. Now that I live and breathe this, um, there are many recognizable signs that parents should look for. And you want every family today um, to communicate, to talk about this. How do you really get the conversation started if maybe you're thinking, okay, this is happening to my daughter? Well, today is National Time to Talk Day, and I think it's never too soon or never too late to start a conversation like this. Um, there are many different ways that you can start a conversation. Um, mm -hmm. The One Love Foundation that we've developed has an app with 20 questions, and the questions have been developed by research at the Johns Hopkins University, actually 20 years of research. And it, it might be good to go through those questions with your child and see if any of them pertain to, to their relationship. Yeah, I've, Sharon, I've looked through them and I wanna um, play this. It's you discussing the app and then we'll come out of it. Okay. Friends with who? One in three women are victims of relationship violence, and it's often ignored by those who could help but don't. The One Love Foundation created a revolutionary app that makes it impossible to ignore relationship violence. Based on research undertaken at the Johns Hopkins University School of Nursing, this app helps victims, friends, and family make an assessment and determine the threat. It's anonymous, free, and can save lives. Be one for change. Join One Love. Sharon, you're doing so much, I believe, to help families because this often is not discussed and that number staggering, one in three. How are you and your family doing? I know that Yardley has a sister, Lexi, as well. How is it day to day? It changes. Each day is different, but um, I, I think it's helped us to jump in and try and help others. Um, we're hoping to make sure that other parents and other siblings don't have to go through what we've gone through.